called Boo My Food. It's a crack party! While walking in the woods one day, Chris and Martin saw something strange. A little leaping lemur who liked to bounce and play. They followed their new bouncing friend, not knowing where this adventure would end. The animals were headed just around the bend. Where are they going? I don't know. How do we get there? Come on, let's go! Snow Day! Hey Chris! This must be the snow storm of the century! Yeah! It's freezing out here! Hey, snow creatures! It's wild out there! Wait, and what really amazes me is how animals can stay outside all winter long! It's incredible! Yeah, we saw a moose who was just standing around in the snow. But how does he stand the cold? And otters were just playing around like it was summer. As comfortable as can be. Yeah, now we humans need a lot of clothes to stay warm. And we need to live in heated houses. But some animals like polar bears spend the entire winter living outside in the snow. How do these creatures do it? I don't know. But I just thought of one animal who can't stand the snow. Zabu. Because lemurs are warm weather creatures. Sabu, you must have got here before the storm. You want a little rub down? Maybe that'll warm you up. There you go, buddy. Mmm, I've got a hot chocolate. But what would warm a lemur's belly? Something orange and yummy. Sweet potato, and I just had some. Guys, guys, yeah. how come the clouds fell down? The clouds fell down? Mm -hmm. All over the ground, white and fluffy. There's clouds all over the ground. Snow! Zabu's talking about snow, not clouds. Yeah, yeah, and in the clouds, uh, I mean the snow, a creature ran around. I couldn't believe my mind! Who? What? No, who? Who? Yahoo! What are you so happy about? No, not Yahoo! But who? Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He was in the snow, always in the snow, except when he was in the trees. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. He's a leaper, but not a lemur. Swinger, do you know who he is? You know what? I've got it. It's got to be some kind of monkey. Yeah, but what kind of monkey? Hey, uh, monkey. 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 It's a snow monkey. She's very playful. <laughs> yeah, that's a Japanese macaque. All right. Manga Snoka, Manga Snoka. She's on the move. Whoa. Snow monkeys are fast. Hey, hop on me. Whoa, you got me. Whoa. She's strong for a little monkey. <laughs> Snow monkeys are one of the smartest monkeys in the creature world. They're from Japan. Some Japanese macaques live high in the mountains and spend the whole winter outside in the snow. She's cold as an ice cube. What could warm her up? <laughs> hey, where are you going? Don't you want to play? Whew, ice cubes are cold. 
Do you want to play a joke on my brother? Okay. Come on. So we have a cold solo. What could warm her up? Woo! <laughs> when Chris has an ice cube down in his shirt, he jumps around just like a lemur. Woo! How does it feel, Chris? Cold, cold. Woo! <laughs> now that is cold. <laughs> I'm gonna get my brother back. But first things first, we have to warm this snow monkey up. Hey, Zob, is Snowmo getting any warmer? Did you get warm yet? Oh, she's still cold. Hmm. I wonder how we can warm her up. Hey, hey, come back here. Where are you going? Whoa. She's fast. Zabu Snowmo sure loves to play. She sure does. Chris, I've got an idea. That's how we can get her warm. How? Playing. Great idea, Zabu. Let's play. <laughs> she likes to swing. <laughs> and Chris is swinging too. So am I. Funny how monkeys can scratch their head with their feet? It really works. I'm scratching my head with my feet, Snowmo. Oh, yeah. Don't get your toes stuck. I'm so hot, I'm sweating. But Snowmo is still cold. I don't get it. How will we warm a snow monkey up? Hey, Zabu. Uh -huh. Look at Snowmo's tail. It's short and stubby. Oh my gosh, mine's long. <laughs> I like my tail when I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Snowmo swinging on my tail. <laughs> it's cold, huh? <laughs> no wonder why you're so cold. You've been out in the snow all day. Great hands for grabbing onto things, just like we do. Grabby, grabby hands. <laughs> I've got grabby, grabby hands too! <laughs> Her hands are really cold still. I know, I, I know. It. She's not warm yet. I don't know how we're gonna warm her up, Zob. I'll have to think of something. Hmm. How about this? In the wild, snow monkeys eat bark through the winter. Hey, and maybe that's how they keep warm. Oh, but we don't have the right kind of bark here in Animal Junction. You know what, Snowmo? I had a friend with a different problem. He was warm and wanted to get cold. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 when I bounced into sense it. <laughs> <laughs> Watch where you're going, Zabu, see? He blurped. Hi, sense it. Hi, Zabu. Say, did you see the great snow lemur? Who? You know, he lives on top of Mount Sabumafu. <laughs> then what's he doing right behind you? Oh. Hey, no. <laughs> oh, don't sneak up on a guy like that, yeah. What are you doing behind me, anyhow? I'm here on vacation, but it's too hot here. I like the cold. I like the snow. I have to go. Well, don't go. I know how to keep you cold. How about this giant ice fruitcake? We'll hop up here. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's better. That's much better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I feel so it. I learned how to cool a friend down. We are like it, nice and cold. But I didn't learn how to warm a friend up. The end. <laughs> and you're still cold as an ice cube. Still as cold as an ice cube, huh? Do you want to get Chris again? Okay, come on. Martin. We have to figure out a way to warm up Snowmo. Oh, I know. Yeah. We tried playing. Didn't work. Nope, didn't work. We tried giving her something to eat. Didn't work. Nope, didn't work. She's still as cold as a... Ice cow. Not again. <laughs> Martin gotcha. <laughs> Chris is as cold as you, monkey. <laughs> you got me. I am going to get Martin back. But first things first, we have a snow monkey to warm up. Hey, Martin. Oh, hi, Snowmo. What's up? 
why don't we put some stuff on Snowmo, like you guys do? You mean these clothes, Lobster? Yeah, clothes. All right, we can try it. What do you think, Snowmo? Yeah, try it. So. What do you think, Snowmo, huh? Maybe that's it. No. Nope. Monkeys don't wear clothes, but they live outside all winter long. What's their secret? Well, their fur is thick and warm. That helps. But for some reason, our little snow monkey's still cold. Hey, Chris, remember the bison we saw? They had big chunks of ice on their fur. Yeah, and they were hanging out around the hot springs to keep warm. The hot steam was making them nice and warm and cozy. That's it. That's it. Martin, I can't believe we forgot. What? Somebody, kill me. Yeah, it's the most amazing thing. What is? When it gets really cold, snow monkeys go to natural hot springs. They soak in the hot water, and that's how they stay warm through the coldest winters. Nothing warms up a snow monkey like a hot bath. So let's do what the snow monkeys do. <laughs> 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 Let's fire it up. It's hot tub time. Hey, it's warm. Just the way I like it, nice and warm. Ah, uh, this should do it, Martin. This water's perfect for a snow monkey. Come on in, Snowmo. Here she is. Oh, come on. Oops. I found Snowmo. <laughs> Snowmo, you want a grape in the hot tub? <laughs> Is she gonna get in? Come on in, Snowmo. You're gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, huh? Yeah, come on in. Here. Hey, she's warming in her face for starters. <laughs> oh, who needs water when you can spin um, 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 to get warm? Um, 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 um. All right, Snowmo. So, are you getting any warmer? It's bath time. Is she getting any warmer? Yeah, what, what do you think, Zop? So? I don't know, Martin. I think she wants to hug me. <laughs> Fuzzy, furry lemur hugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. See you later. <laughs> Upsie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm giving her a lemur back ride. <laughs> go, Zabu, go! Hey, she's got my nose, she's got my nose. Uh, hey, hey, her hands are getting warm. <laughs> <laughs> she sure likes hugging, and she's a lot warmer. <laughs> Maybe hugging's the secret, Zop. Yeah, I think it's hugging. I think hugging's gonna warm her up. Huh. I'm gonna go hug with her. Hey, Snowmo, wait up. I'm gonna hug on you. Snowmo wants to hug on me. Hmm? I'm getting warm just watching him. The hugging worked. She's warm now. I love you, Snowmo. Yay! Hooray! The hugging work! She's warm now, she's warm now, really! I feel snow monkeyish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel snow monkeyish. How about you, snow monkeyish? Feeling snow monkeyish. Snow, snow, monkey in the snow. When it's cold outside, I know where to go. Monkeyish, feeling snow monkeyish. Snow, snow, monkey in the snow. When it's cold outside, I know where to go. Yeah. Wow. Snow monkeyish. Feeling snow monkeyish can really wear you out. Sure can. Hang on, I'm just the thing. Remember how I said I'd get Martin back? You want to play a joke on him with me? Great, look at this. Now this is a giant ice cube. Hey Martin, come on over, have a seat. Oh, thanks Chris. 
is exactly what I need. Icarus, is it just me? Or is this seat as cold as an ice cube? <laughs> 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 Chris gotcha. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> hey, Snowmo, where are you going? Hey, guys, I think Snowmo is getting ready to go. Bye, Snowmo. Bye, Snowmo. Thanks for coming by. She's a great climber. There she goes, up and out into the trees. And here comes a great flyer. Incoming Falcon. Dog! <laughs> Monk, Chica, does this look like a duck to you? <laughs> Not to me, Zod. This looks like a lantern falcon. Wow, and she brought a message from Jackie. Oh, let's see it. It's cold, though, but I'm hot because we're digging a creature trail. When the snow gets too deep, it's too hard for animals to get around. Small animals have a hard time in the snow, and so do some big animals. This trail will make it easier for them so they can find food and get home again. But I gotta get home now to shovel the walk for mom and dad. You know me, animals first. Mom Tundra! Hey Chris, hey Mark. There are lots of snow animals who don't need my shovel, like polar bears. How do they do it? What do you think, Chris? Let's go way up north to the land of ice and snow. To, to the, the polar, polar bears. bears! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Have you ever heard of snow dogs? This is a Siberian husky named Raz. And he loves to run in the snow. So does the rest of the team. And these snow dogs are going to take us to the land of the snow bear. Better known as the polar bear. You ready? Let's go! Hey, who? Hubba, hubba, hike! Come on, Chris! Woo-hoo! Whoa! Yeah. These snow dogs can really run! Hike! Let's go, guys! Come on, go, go! Dig, dig, dig! Come on, guys, let's go, go! Siberian huskies are incredible! They can run for 50 miles! Yeah, they're really fast! I hope we find a polar bear soon, because I can't keep up this pace for long! Forget about that for a second, Martin! I just hope we can handle this turn! Hang on! <laughs> what a wipeout! Now we really are snow people! <laughs> there they are! The snow bears. Wow, a mother and two cubs. You think we're giving her enough space, Chris? Yeah, I think it's perfect. When you're watching a bear in the wild, especially a mother with cubs, make sure you give her a lot of space. That way, you can take a nice, long, and close look without bothering the bears. Wow. They're hunkering down. Snow bears are called polar bears because they live so close to the North Pole. And the North Pole is one of the coldest places on Earth. So how do polar bears do it? How do they stay warm living in such a cold place? You see, polar bears have special fur that holds warm air inside each hair. That keeps polar bears warm, warmer than the warmest winter jacket. And when it gets really cold, a polar bear digs a nice warm spot in the snow and hunkers down in it. It's kind of like a snow fort. 
Hey, Chris, you have room for one more? Wait, it's not ready yet. It's slippery. Oops. Now we're really snow people. Why'd you do that? <laughs> Wrestling like a polar bear is another way to stay warm. <laughs> Playing like polar bears can really get you pooped. Yeah, but brother of mine, we can't rest now. You know why? Because it's our turn to pull the sled. And the snow dog's turn to rest. I think Raz wants a ride. Hey, who? Hubba, hubba, hike! hike. I could use a hot tub after this. Tell me about it. <laughs> Woo, we made it! Back at Animal Junction. Hey, this stuff is pretty cool. Are you sure you want to catch it with your mouth? Okay, here it goes. One, two, Whoa, three. Snow dog. Catch! <laughs> oh. Sorry, Chris. <laughs> the snow dogs love to eat the snowballs. I keep throwing them, and they keep eating them. <laughs> well, this is my kind of game. Cool and snowy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oof! Yeah. <laughs> hey, snow dogs. Catch! <laughs> you really do like eating these. Here goes our catch. Oof! Uh -oh. Snowballs! Catch! <laughs> <laughs> and these aren't just any dogs. These are Arctic wolves. Maybe you call them Arctic wolves, but I know what they call each other. <laughs> these wolves howl to tell each other where they are. Like there's one over there in the cave. Oh, I'm telling them where I am. Oh, it's important because wolves live in families called packs. They howl to keep track of each other. Ooh. Let's howl like wolves. Hey, they're climbing up the rocks. Just like I did in Sabu Land. I was leaping along. Leap, leap, <laughs> leap. Leap, leap. And then I stopped because I wanted to climb to the top of Mount Zabumafu. <laughs> Zabu! And then Wiggy flew by. <laughs> I want to go too! <laughs> but Wiggy, it's very cold on top of Mount Zabumafu. I have fur to keep me warm, but it's too cold up there for you. Oh, wait! My feathers look at me warm! Oh, yeah? Well, then, let's go! Oh, wait for me! I want to go, too! Oh, but, Goobo, it's very cold on Mount Zabumufu. Oh, oh, Wiggy oh. has feathers to keep her warm, and I have fur to keep me warm, but it's too cold up there for you! Oh, that's no problem, Zabu! Oh, I've been eating Goobo berries all day, so my fat will keep me warm! Oh, yeah? Well, then, let's go! Oh, but I might need some help. So we climbed and climbed and climbed. And as we climbed, it got colder I like climbing. and colder and colder. But our fur, feathers, and fat kept us warm. And then we heard a friendly voice. Uh, I, uh, ho! Oh. It was Snow Lemur. And we all jumped around on the top of Mount Sabumufu and had a lot of fun. <laughs> the end. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hey, it looks like the wolves might den up in the cave for a while. Today was a great day. Hey, Martin, my favorite was playing with Snow Mo. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> and you know what my favorite part of the day was? Hanging out with the snow wolves. Oh, and my favorite part of the day was checking out the polar bears and dog sledding. I think the dog really liked it when he got to ride the sled and we were the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> This animal is a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his fiery behind All the friends that we met today Are special in their own way We've all got different names 
But we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by. We're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing we have to say. Go make an animal friend today. Yeah. Hey, Sabu, are snow peas your friends? Snow peas? I love snow peas. <laughs> Oh, Chris, I'm not going. Why not, Sob? It's too, uh, uh, snow. Want to stay here, then? We'll camp out till the snow melts. Excuse me. Guess that means yes. Just waiting out the snowstorm. With the tarantula. I'm Alex, and this is my snow dog, Rascal. I can't believe my mind. Oh, it's cold outside. That's why I got here early. Hmm. The duck came inside, just like me. Mangatsika, lots of creatures are coming in from the cold. I've never seen that kind of a cat before. Hmm. I think I'm onto something. Over here! What did you find? Lynx tracks. Ooh, they're lynx footprints, all right. They're beauties! Let's follow them. I'm right behind you, bro. Ash you! I smell mud. Uh-oh. You stepped in the mud. <laughs> now your footprints are all over Animal Junction. <laughs> oh, he's making tracks. I'm gonna follow them. Yeah, yeah, those tracks are big, real big. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Bigfoot Cat. Wow, your feet are giant. Bigger than big. Let's call Chris and Martin. This is a cat they'll want to meet. Chris, Martin. The tracks are headed right down this hill. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, Bigfoot Cat, I don't think they can hear us. Come on, let's call louder this time. Chris, Martin. I hear something. It's Zabu. He must be at Animal Junction already. Come on. <laughs> That's pretty fast. Zabu, what are you doing here? Yeah, what are you up to, Zab? Well, I beat you guys. Now you have to do what I do when I come in. You have to be a lemur. Right. Yeah, no problem. Good lemur leaping, Chris. Yeah. Come on, leap like a lemur. You can do it. <laughs> yeah, come on, guys. Lemurs leap much higher than that. <laughs> Whatever you say, Zob. Leap in, lemur. Well, you can't talk. First snack, then talk. Remember? I'll get the snack. <laughs> Chris, pizza. Martin, spaghetti. <laughs> Chris and Martin like their snacks. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> like me. First they snack, then they burp, then they talk. <laughs> so what did you see out there? Did you see the mystery animal? We saw tracks, Zob. And we know whose tracks they are. See if you can guess. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Okay, pointy ears. You can see those pointy ears right away. And big paws that made huge tracks in the snow. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. He's a kind of wildcat, and this wildcat loves to jump and pounce. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? A point here, short tail track, track maker. Do you know who he is? Now, let's see. He's got big, big feet and pointy ears. That sounds like... I know who. Bigfoot Cat, 
That's who you were following? Yeah! I can't believe my mind. I got, I got mystery animals here. Yeah, yeah. He's called a lynx, Sob. A Bigfoot lynx cat. This is the creature whose tracks we were following. A young lynx. Uh-oh. I think the lynx forgot his tail in the woods. Nope, that's all of it, Zob. Lynx tails are short and stubby. His tail looks like your nose, Narchi. I like it. I like it. There you go. You can only pet a lynx in Animal Junction. Hey. His ears are pointy. Black tufts of hair. Big feet, short tail, pointy ears. The lynx is Manga Tsika. That means I love him. <laughs> yeah. And this lynx seems to be looking for something. His head's always moving. He's looking around and he's listening to all the sounds. I think he is looking for something. But what do you think he's looking for? Maybe he's looking for someone to play with. <laughs> Come on, Lynx, play with me. Whoa! <laughs> oh, I'm being lynxed. <laughs> Well, you're really fast. Those big paws are fast, Zob, and strong. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Links love to play. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. that tickles. Hey, whoa, 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 play with me. Whoa. Whoa. He plays rough. When those big feet have you, they really have you. <laughs> you're right, Zob. Look at those feet. They're incredible. Thanks, Chris. I was born with them. He's not talking about your feet. He's talking about the lynx's feet. Oh, yeah. His feet are big with lots of fur around them to make them even bigger. And his big feet don't uh, sink in the snow. Yeah. Like these things you wear on your feet. Hmm. Yeah, snowshoes. Yeah, snowshoes. You got it, Zob. These snowshoes will help us run in the snow like a lynx. You want to run in the snow like a lynx? Come on. When spring comes, the lynx sheds that extra fur on his feet. Because when there's no snow, he doesn't need his snowshoes. Hey, what are you sniffing for? Bigfoot the lynx is looking for something. I just know it. Oh, no. Watch out. Oh, lots of yellow paint on the floor. Oh, Mouse likes it. And now Mouse is leaving little yellow tracks everywhere. <laughs> Snake's making slidey tracks. Super cool slidey tracks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, Martin, look what the Lynx did. And look at all these creature tracks. What are these ones? A kangaroo! Big feet, big tracks. Look at this. It's like a slippery, slidey snail trail, only bigger. It's a boa constrictor. This is who made that track. Look at his little tongue. It's flicking in and out. But Chris, how does he make a track? He doesn't have any feet. He makes it with his whole body. Huh? Yeah, he just slithers along and leaves a squiggly track. Snakes are like one long foot. Snakes are solid muscle. He's so heavy. Look at him go. <laughs> there are tracks all over this place. You know what? I think I'll make my own tracks. 
wonder what creature foot made these tracks. Whoa, big feet, big creature. Hey, Zobs. A creature didn't make these tracks, a creature venturer did. <laughs> Martin, you left your feet, you left your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Great tracking, Zabu. Shh, I'm gonna play a trick on Zabu. Watch this. <laughs> I can walk on my hands, too. <laughs> What's that? Wow, look at these tracks. Whatever foot made these tracks must have... I can't believe my mind. They're gone. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. That's a real mystery, mm -hmm. Zob. Well, it looks like mine, but it's bigger. Well, mine is little. Yeah. Huh? Chris? It's your hand footprint. <laughs> <laughs> you got me, Zob. <laughs> Silly guy. Yeah. Everybody can make tracks. You can do it too. Nah. Me and my friends made tracks in Zabu land. So I was leap leaping along. Leap, 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 <laughs> leap, 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 leap. When I saw some tracks, I thought, what kind of a creature made those tracks? So I followed them. <laughs> leap, 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 and then I bumped into Sense It. Oh, oh, hi, Sense It. I'm following oh, tracks. No, Zabu, those are my tracks. I, I hey, I've got an idea. Huh? Why don't we all make tracks? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tracks. Yeah, tracks. Yeah, tracks. Yeah, tracks. Great idea. <laughs> So we all made tracks together. And we all did it our own way. Well, Snow Lemur? Snow Lemur left great big waddly tracks. Sense it? Sense it made tracks with his fingers this time. I left along, so my tracks had big spaces between them. And Slimantha left two kinds of tracks. Walking ones and sliding ones. <laughs> then we bumped into Google. And Google said, More nice tracks. We'll make more. We'll make okay. More. So we made a whole bunch more. The end. <laughs> that was a great story, Zabu. But what is the Lynx looking for? I still think he's looking for someone to play with. <laughs> all right. Let's play a ball with the Lynx. <laughs> there you go. Catch it nice! Oh, nice bouncing, Martin. <laughs> Thanks, uh. Got it, Link style. Play a ball with the Links. Here's your ball. <laughs> Thanks, Zob. <laughs> well, it's fun to play catch with the Links. And Animal Junction's the only place you can do it. <laughs> Whoa, nice toss. All cats love to pounce, especially kittens in the wild. One time, we saw two lynx kittens pouncing and wrestling in the grass. Now, their sister heard them playing, and she wanted to get in on the action. She couldn't see anything over the tall grass, but she could hear them. She followed the sounds, and her ears led her right to the spot where her brothers were. Soon, all three of them were rolling around and playing and having a great time, thanks to those ears. I can't believe my mind. His ears are so soft and so big. He needs those big ears, up. Yeah, the lynx isn't the fastest cat in the world. So for hunting, he needs to rely on his smooth, steady moves, his great eyesight, and those excellent ears. Hey, check out that cat. Do you want to go back down? headed right towards the mud. Cat prints. You know, cat paws are a lot like lynx paws without the snowshoe size. She was looking for the cat. Wow, that's weird. A cat and a wild lynx? Friends? <laughs> this could only happen in Animal Junction. Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! Lynx found his friend! We're feeling kind of lynxish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. 
I'm feeling kind of lynxish. How about you? Lynxish. Feeling kind of lynxish. <laughs> lynxish. Oh, yeah. I'm a big footed cat who knows where it's at. Lynxish. Do you hear that? They're purring, Zabu. That means they're happy. They're pals. Bye, Lynx. Bye, Orange Cat. There goes my Bigfoot friends. Yeah. Incoming! Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a duck! duck. That's not a duck. It's Moonface. The barn owl. My pal. He doesn't leave tracks when he flies. But his tracks are all over this message from Jackie. Are birds the only animals who eat from a bird feeder? I don't think so. Squirrels and chipmunks love to eat seeds, too. But squirrels eat so many seeds, there's hardly any left for the birds. Here's the solution. I made the scarf so squirrels can't get to the bird feeder. They can get seeds from the ground. Because some birds, they get more food on the ground than in their mouths. This way, both the birds and squirrels get to eat. Here's another cool thing about feeders. Great place to find animal tracks. See that? Hey, Martin, Chris, do you think you can find me by following my tracks? Oh, and don't forget, if you start a bird feeder, make sure it's filled all winter long. The birds will come to count on you. I wonder where she's going. We'll have to follow her tracks to find her. Sounds like a trip to me. Me too. They're going to the closet, they're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. <laughs> Let's go track Jackie. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. I'm gonna fool Martin and Chris. When they see my footprints stop, they'll think I disappeared. They stop because I'm walking backwards in them. Hey, Chris, this way. Looks like a human foot in a size one boot. Yep, these are Jackie tracks for sure. We got her now, no problem. You mean no Jackie? What? Her track stop. <laughs> <laughs> Did Jackie learn to fly or something? <laughs> I don't think so. They're never going to find me. Martin, different tracks. Hmm, let's see. Two toe prints, clean break down the middle. Not as pointy as a deer's tracks. I'm pretty sure these tracks were made by the feet of a bighorn sheep. Bighorn sheep use their front feet to dig in the snow. They're looking for food. Under the snow, there's lots of grass and other great tasting stuff to eat. Good idea, dig for food. Whoa, a granola bar. Good find, Chris. Top that, bro. All right. Hot chocolate! <sighs> you never know what you can find under the snow. You'll never find me up here. Trying to figure out tracks is like solving a puzzle. You have to look at the track and try to figure out what kind of an animal has a foot that's shaped like that. These are Jackie tracks and somebody in the weasel family made this track. But who, a long-tailed weasel? Short-tailed weasel? Skunk? Otter? Fisher? There's only one way to find out. Follow those tracks. Let's go. These Jackie tracks look really fresh. Oh, here they come. Yeah, I think we're closing in. You think 
thinking what I'm thinking? Cat! <laughs> Jackie! <laughs> Jackie! Whoa. Jackie! <laughs> <laughs> When they're hot on your tail, climb the tree! <laughs> I wasn't the only one, guys. I had company up there. A fisher was chasing a porcupine up the tree. Wow! There's the porcupine. There's the fisher. Hey, did you know that when there's snow on the ground, a fisher can jump 20 feet out of a tree? Look at him go! Uh -huh. In the winter, fishers travel huge distances across the snow looking for food and a porcupine is their favorite meal. But a porcupine's safe as long as he has his quills and can climb up in a tree. Hey, do you hear that? Sounds like bells. That's our ride home, guys. Excellent! Let's go! <laughs> cool! Great idea, Jackie. Hey. No problem. <laughs> hey. hey, thanks for picking us up, guys. Got it. Going home. Oh, sorry I broke your branches. Um, can I make it up to you? I'll, I'll try. A caribou. How's it going, Zavu? Oh, guys, I broke him. I broke the creature. Uh, these branches broke off his head. I was climbing on them and they broke off. Don't worry, Zavu. The caribou is fine. These things that look like branches are called antlers. They grow on a caribou's head and then in the winter, they're supposed to fall off. So actually, Zob, you help the caribou out. Oh, so you're welcome. Anytime. Great job, Zob. Thanks. An eastern woodland caribou like her can also be called an American reindeer. Oh, oh she, she likes the cold, uh, like me. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that? The caribou burped. Hey, Zob, the caribou burped just like you do. I knew there was something I liked about her. Through the spring and summer, her antlers are going to grow back. And then, by the wintertime, they're going to be big. Even bigger than the year before. They'll be huge. Yeah, like tree branches. Big, moving tree branches. <laughs> Reindeer are the only type of deer where both males and females have antlers. Why is your fur falling off, Martin? Besides shedding antlers, a caribou also sheds fur. Look how it's coming off in clumps. Caribou get a whole new coat once a year. Look! <laughs> Caribou's making tracks, too. Yay! Yay! More tracks! tracks. <laughs> I love tracks. Another amazing thing about the caribou is that great nose. A caribou can smell food buried six feet under the snow. And also food in the snack machine. She probably wants a snack. I always do. Hmm. Come and get it. Eat up, caribou. Wow. Anga Zika. These are giant footprints. Much bigger than the tiny footprints I saw in Zabu land. I was leaping along. Leap, 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 <laughs> leap, 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 leap. And then I saw something that made me stop in my hop. Tracks. I've got to follow these tracks. And that's what I did. Until the tracks led me to sense it, who was standing <laughs> under a striped hey, hey, fruit tree. Hey, hey, hey. Don't let me careful. No. <laughs> Hi, Zabu. Hi, sense it. Did you make these footprints? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, just the big ones. Well, then who made the little ones? <laughs> oh, yeah, they did. They're my little sisters. No, no. I'm babysitting them today. You want to help? <laughs> well, sure, Sense It. So we took care of Sense It's little sisters. <laughs> and we played all kinds of fun games with them. And when they got hungry, we fed them. Then one of the sisters said, Hey, want to make some funny tracks? Okay. And then we all jumped around and made funny tracks. The end. The caribou's making tracks. See you later, caribou. Hi, reindeer. Come back soon. I like calling them reindeer. This 
This animal is a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his funny behind All the friends that we met today Are special in their own way We've all got different names But we're really all the same Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came These animals are friends of mine They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb One more thing we have to say Go make an animal friend today Keep making tracks, Zob. Yeah, and we'll see you later, buddy. What could that be? Ho, ho, ho. Could it be? Do you think so? Hi, my name is Josh. This is my pet rooster, Spike. 